Hi, I'm Dave Johnson. I'm the editor of eHow Tech. And today, let's unbox the Nike Plus Sport Kit. So this is for the iPod. It's actually for a number of different iPod models. You can use it with uh, your iPod, your iPhone, the iPod Nano. And uh, what it does is it's essentially a pedometer that tracks how long you run or exercise and puts it online on the Nike Plus website so you can track it, look at graphs, see how you're performing, and compare your performance to other people. It's kind of cool, and it helps you either get fit or stay fit. So let's open this thing up and see what is inside. So this has got really interesting packaging. I, I like this because it's, it's like candy. You have to pop these things out. So it comes with two little gadgets. And uh, there's not really a whole lot else here. There's, there's a user guide in the box, but that's about it. And what you've got is this thing, which connects to certain iPod models. If you have older iPods, you'll want to use this connection. And just look in the user guide, it'll tell you which ones are which. But if you have a newer model like uh, uh, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, 4S, or the 5, you don't need this. You can just throw it away or put it back in the box. What you do need is this. The, this little guy goes in your shoe. And for best results, you're going to want a Nike Plus uh, compatible shoe. So I've got one right here. It's got the Nike logo, and it has the Nike Plus uh, logo on it as well. You can pop it open, and you can see it's got another little Nike Plus logo there. And if you pull back the insole, you'll see that there is a little slot custom designed for this. So pull out the little rubber bit, and then you take that and you stick it in there, and then you push down the insole back, and you'll never know you're walking on it. It, it doesn't hurt, doesn't leave a lump or anything like that. Now what if you don't actually have a, a Nike Plus shoe? That's okay, it's not the end of the world. Uh, rather than carving out the, the insole of your shoe, what you might want to do, and I know some people that do this, is they take their Nike Plus gadget and they string it through the laces and they tape it down. So it's a, you know, a little precarious. I guess there's always a risk it's going to come flying off when you're out running. But uh, I know folks that have done this for a long time and it stays there just fine. So once you do that, make sure you go follow the instructions in the package, go to the Nike Plus website, get an account, and then you're up and running. The last thing that you need to do is to tell your iPod or your iPhone about the fact that you have this. And I'll just show you how to do it here on my iPhone 4S. Go to settings, go all the way to the bottom, and just pull up a little bit, and you should find Nike Plus iPod. And turn it on. And now, there's a whole bunch of settings you can configure there and just knock yourself out. You know, you, you can configure that any way you want to. But what you should find is a new Nike Plus fitness app, which you can start. And that wasn't there before you turned it on. And you can use this to start tracking your, uh, your exercises using the, the Nike Plus. There you go.